Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will be sharing all the books that I read in the second half of the month of May. So usually I start my wrap-ups with the books that I don't have a physical copy for. So um, I read The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his first name correctly. Um, I had never read this book before and I just kind of wanted to read it because I was reading the Disney, a uh, Disney picture book of the Jungle Book at work and I kind of just wanted to see the um, like original story but unfortunately I'm giving this book three stars. I didn't really love it. Um, I just... I guess I thought that the entire book would um, feature like Mowgli and that cast, but it is actually like a bunch of shorter stories of different animals, which I'm not a huge animal person, so I didn't really love it. Um, but yeah, there are stories about different animals in the jungle. Um, yeah, not much to say, but didn't love it, unfortunately. I also read Julieta and the Diamond Enigma. Um, by Luisana Duarte Armendariz, and I'm giving this book five stars. I really did enjoy it. It was a net galley arc that I got. Um, well, the book came out a couple of years ago, actually. I just I found that out when I um, was accepted. I was accepted for the audiobook, which is new. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I really love the audiobook, and it really brought up the story. We follow a girl and her father as they go to France um, for his job. He works with the museum and he is going, I believe it's to the Louvre. I should really check it out um, because this is the second video I'm talking about this book. But um, they go to France and, or what, well, to Paris, and um, they his job is to bring this diamond back to the United States where they live to his museum. So while they're there and enjoying all the sights, um, of course the diamond gets stolen so they need to try and solve that case. Um, so I really did enjoy it. It was a great middle grade book. And um, sorry I'm looking at my papers here because I don't have a physical copy for these books. I also read um, Center of Attention, a Sweet Valley High book or Sweet Valley Twins book um, by Francine Pascal and this one I'm giving five stars as well. I really enjoyed it. I, I usually enjoy most of the books in the series or in the universe because there is um, quite a few spin-off series as well but yeah giving five stars to this one. Um, in this one, uh, it features Jessica, who um, is just kind of getting discouraged. She feels like um, her sister is getting all the attention. And then she overhears a conversation and she thinks her mom is like really sick. Um, and she's like doctor's appointments and she's really scared that her mom's like dying. So um, it was a nice book because it kind of showed a different side to Jessica, who is like often very um, self-centered and she was very concerned about her mom and I really enjoyed this book and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend the series. I also read The Peacemaker by Laurie Copeland and I'm giving this one five stars. I am quite easy on my five stars if I really enjoyed the book. So in this one, we follow this uh, lady who was left at the altar and she wants revenge on the man because he kind of like left her at the altar and like left town. So she's like traveling across the country to try and find him and um, get her revenge by killing him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I didn't think that it would go there considering it's Christian fiction. But along the way, um, she meets this man who um, we find out, like, I mean, I don't think it was just me. I think we find out as soon as we meet the guy, pretty much. We, as the reader, knows that it's his brother. So she doesn't know that. And she starts to be friends with him. But he is the brother of the man that she's trying to kill. So, <clears throat> sorry. I um, really loved this book. And um, I read the second book as well, which I own a physical copy for. So you will see that in a little bit. 
And then um, I read, lastly, yes, lastly, <laughs> I read Re Refining Fire by Tracy Peterson. And I'm also giving this book five stars. Um, really loved it. It is the start to a series. Um, actually, it's not a start to the series. It's book two. Yeah, it's book two. Um, kind of read them out of order by accident. Um, but it wasn't too, too much um, of like a, a spoiler. Like there wasn't really any spoilers. Um, you could read them, I guess, out of order. But you did hear about like one of the um, main, the main character's friends was a couple so you know that they got married in the first book but I mean other than that um, which is pretty obvious with Christian fiction that they're gonna get married at the end of the book so didn't think it was much of a spoiler but uh, it is book two so in this one this series we follow like a bridal school and um just the different ladies that are there well it's maybe it's like maybe not it's called a school but it's like um I don't know it's like a bridal place where they live and they're like taught um like how to become marriage material yeah I guess you would call it a school so um yeah so um it follows that and we meet this lady here who um she just really feels like her past is you know insurmountable and she will never find love um, because of her past and what has happened and then she meets this guy who also has a past and it was just a great book really loved it um, just getting through their um, trauma in the past and we do follow two couples so there is that couple and then we also follow another couple um, where the main love interest she's very um, very strong in her faith and she's opening up this um like a homeless shelter almost I guess you would call it for in the past um and she's trying to to feed people and share God's love Christ's love and uh then the love interest for her is there and they're kind of working together for that so really did enjoy that book as well so moving on to the books that I have physical copies for. So I read Geronimo Stilton's Surf's Up Geronimo um, and I'm giving this book three stars. Um, it was okay. It wasn't one of the better ones. Um, yeah, he goes on vacation. Things happen. Not much to say. Wasn't that great. Three stars. Um, and then I read Rose Town by Cynthia Ryland. Um, I found this at a little free library and thought to pick it up. Um, it was okay. Three stars as well. Not too much happens. We follow um, this girl and her family um, as they move to this or as they live in this town of Rosetown. Um, yeah, not much happening. It was a little bit long and hard to get to, um, get through, sorry, um, because there wasn't that much going on. But it was free. <laughs> I did end up finishing it. Three stars. Not a whole lot to say. Um, I feel like if it's a three star book for me, I don't have as much memories on it. <laughs> um, it's just kind of like, okay, whatever. So yeah. <laughs> I also read Thea Stilton and the Dancing Shadows. Um, this one was a little bit better, but still a three star read for me. Um, the girls, they go to Italy for a ballet competition <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was okay. Um, maybe more like a three and a half star, but I don't do half stars. So um, that'll be in my three star pile. Moving on to my four star reads. I read Cam Jansen and the Valentine Baby Mystery by David A. Adler. So this one was um, pretty cute. I did enjoy it. Cam has a photographic memory which helps her solve mysteries and in this one um, her mom is going to the hospital to give birth to um, her baby sister or baby brother and there is a mystery of a stolen bag or purse um, that Cam needs to solve during that time so it was cute. Really did enjoy it. I also read Pet Hotel On With The Show by Kate Finch. This was like a free book when I went to the thrift store. So I picked it up, um, but it was quite cute. I'm giving it four stars. 
in this one, there's like this, um, well, pet hotel <laughs> um, where they have like um, people who want to leave their pet at maybe like a fancier, I'm guessing it's like a fancier kind of kennel. Um, and yeah, there's this cat that is there. That's like a fancy cat <laughs> that is like in cat shows and all that. And then they get a seeing eye pony. So I thought that was really cool that I've never heard of that before. I don't know if it really exists in real life, but um, yeah, it was really cool that they had that and uh, just like the friendship a little bit about those two animals. And it was cute. It was a great middle grade book. I'm giving it four stars. I read You Choose Scooby-Doo The Fright at Zombie Farm by Lori S. Sutton. And um, I quite enjoyed this one, giving it four stars. But the only thing that I had, <laughs> it's probably just me, but with Choose Your Own Adventures, like I feel like um, because there's so many paths that you can choose, I felt like I had to keep my finger in all the places and I, I felt like I was missing um, stories. Um, so I ended up just at one point, like I would do a few paths to choose my own adventure. Um, but then I would just read it straight through. Um, so I don't know, maybe that for me brought it down from a five, but it might just be me having trouble with Choose Your Own Adventures because it is the second book of Choose Your Adventures that I'm trying and neither one has been like amazing for me. So um, that just might be um, a me thing. <laughs> I also read Upside Down Magic Dragon Overnight um, by Sarah Milanowski. I never know how to pronounce her last name, um, but yeah, it is a cute series. I'm giving it four stars as well. Um, it was a little bit boring at times, so I didn't want to give it five stars, but there was um, a great ending to the book. I did enjoy it and the different um, relationships with the characters and what they're going through. It follows this group of kids who go to the school and um, they have upside down magic. So their different uh, abilities are um, not what they're supposed to be. So we have this girl who transforms into animals, but she can't just transform into one animal. Um, she always does like a mix up of two. So she is a kitten and a dragon. So um, she's like a dritten. <laughs> it's a really cute series and I do enjoy it. I read The Trouble with Tink, a Disney fairies book. And this one was pretty cute. Um, Tinkerbell, she loses her um, special hammer and um, she just kind of loses her talent. So she needs to uh, deal with that. Um, and then I liked it because there's some Tink and Terrence um, friendship uh, there going on, as well as we do see Peter Pan. So really liked that one. I read Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew Wedding Day Disaster by Carolyn Keene. Um, this one was another great Nancy Drew book, really enjoyed it. In this one, the girls go to a wedding and something happens to the wedding cake. So they need to find um, out who did the crime. Um, yeah, cute, really loved it, great mystery. Um, also, I read The Brave Bunny by Ben M. Baglio. Um, yeah, it was a cute, thin, thin um, chapter book. Um, in this one, there is um, a new little bunny that comes to Animal Ark and they just need to try and take care of it. And uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, it was a very quick read, but I liked it. Four stars. And my last four star read was Nancy Drew um, from the original set. 46, The Invisible Intruder by Carolyn Keene. So um, I did enjoy this one more than some of the other original Nancy Drew books because I'm giving it four stars. Um, don't ask me what this, what this thing is on the cover. I'm thinking it's a ghost, but I'm not sure. Um, quite frankly, I don't remember much about 
the plot other than uh, Nancy and her friends, they go on um, this like tour um, to this place, well, a few places I believe, because there are like ghosts that are um, in different businesses and they need to try and figure out um, who the ghosts are. So it was one of the better Nancy Drew books in my opinion. So I'm giving that one four stars as well. And now for my five star reads, um, I read three Archie comics. I read Archie, Archie Andrews, Where Are You? Um, number 107. So I always just give my Archie comics five stars. Not really much to say about them. B and V Friends Jumbo Comics number two eighty one and World of Archie Jumbo Comics eighty four. So I always give them five stars because they're just so good. And then I read two Hardy Boys Undercover Brothers number three, um, Boardwalk Bust. Um. Let me just see if I can remember quickly what happens in this one. <laughs> um, I don't remember some of my books because I read so many, but yeah, there is um, jewelry store robbings and the, the boys need to go and figure out that mystery. Oh yeah, oh, so they went to um, Ocean Grove, New Jersey and it was like beach themed, so it was nice. And really I'm loving this series. I've given all the books in the series five stars. Um, just so much good things to say about them. So they're super action-packed. Um, the humor is great. The connection between Joe and Frank are, is amazing. Really love it. Um, also read number six, Burned. So in this one, they are um, on the task to find out who is burning CDs um, illegally at their school, um, their, at their high school. So I um, really enjoyed this one. It was a great mystery as well. And then I did read the second book in that Laurie Copeland series that I was talking about earlier. This is The Drifter. Um, so yeah, this is book two, so I'm not really gonna tell you about it but I really did enjoy this one as well. And two more books. <laughs> I read The Princess in Black and the Mysterious Playdate um, by Shannon Hale. I really love this series. Um, it's like just a really short, like, I don't know if you, even if you would call it a chapter book. I mean, I guess you would, um, but there's like a lot of pictures. So um, it's just a great series. Really love it, love Shannon Hale. Um, in this one, we follow a princess who um, is like a superhero, but nobody knows. And uh, yeah, she goes on a play date with another princess. And then the other princess um, wants to be a superhero as well. And yeah, it's a really cute series that I enjoy reading. And lastly, I read The Adventures of Sophie Mouse, The Maple Festival by Poppy Green. So um, this is, I think, the fourth book in the series. Um, it's super cute. Um, really love the illustrations. Great storyline. Yeah, just a very enjoyable read. So we follow Sophie and her two friends, and they are just very excited for this um, fall festival that is going on in their um, forest. And yeah, just really cute, really innocent. Um, love a great middle grade book like that. So um, yeah, those are the books that I read in the second half of the month. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry, the um, air system turned on again. I started the video with it being off. <laughs> and by the time I was like halfway through the video, it turned on. So Unfortunately, I really can't avoid it. I try my best, but hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.